Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. It is a new homework discussion video. Um, tonight we have, uh, no pointing, because I never point to the right place. Uh, Sarah King from our Stitching Kingdom. If you'll wave. Okay. <laughs> Vicki, reading and stitching. And Lisa from Shady Tree Stitchers or Paddock Lane Designs. Um, so this week we have School's Magical Stitches homework and Daily 30 homework now that she's back from Nashville. So um, I think that's it. What do we have going on in Simi Sane right now? Just get those out of the way real quick. We have uh, Alphabet Soup going on. We have, uh, we're on the letter F and, uh, F and G this month, so F this week. And then we also have Letter of Fortune still going on. <laughs> In so many ways. <laughs> so many ways. F and G. Yes. Vicky's like, what did I say? What? So what are you doing for letter F, Vicky? Letter F, I'm doing Fitzwilliam Frog from my Brooks Books Animals. I'm gonna do my family patchwork sampler from Modern Folk Embroidery. That's what I would do if I was doing it. Yeah. And my, my F is the uh, friends and family from London and Threads. There you go. Yeah, and I was annoyed they were both F's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also are doing Letter of Fortune. So mm -hmm. it's like Will mm -hmm. of Fortune where we're guessing letters. I keep forgetting to post. So I'm, whatever. Um, I think that's it for Simi saying. Um, Ireland, working our way through Ireland. Ireland, so, yeah. And that'll come up. Um, I've got, I just had to find myself a lighthouse design. So this is I going thought to you had that. one. Well, like, yeah, but I had to start. I had to make oh. another new start. So a lighthouse design, alcohol, something about Ireland. At least it's your year of starts. What's one more? I was going to say, Pretty Little Hawaii has a, a lighthouse in it, but I don't think you have that one. No, I don't. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we're going to have Vicki get us started with magical stitches. Homework. Sorry, I was counting. <laughs> okay. Um, so this week we're still, we are still reading the Kingdom Keepers, uh, Disney at Dawn. We are in week three and we are still at the park at Animal Kingdom. So the first thing that happened this week was two of the kids, Kingdom Keepers were kidnapped and placed in a large animal cage. You're going to need to pick one project that meets the requirements and stitch 400 stitches on it. Um, it's penalty stitch for 600. The task is worth four points. Your project will need to have one item that starts with each letter in the word cage, C-A-G-E. Explain what each item is, and I have a photo co uh, cover photo for this. Okay, well, I have not given any thought to this whatsoever just yet, but I am strongly thinking that I would really like to work on this piece because this is one of my. Um, one of my scavenger hunt pieces. So I would like to look maybe on my We Are Humans. So there is a car. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. is an apple. Yeah. And for G, there's a garrison on the castle. Oh, and what? A garrison. Okay. Like with the little the little top bit where the soldiers fire their arrows, okay. and there is a, and there is an Egyptian. So there that you works. go. Works for me. So I have not prepared, and this is one that's kind of hard to do on the fly. Mm. Oh, and you're not on your computer, so we can't look at all your projects. Right. No, I mean, I can show them one at a time, but um, do you have yours prepared, Vicki? Yeah, I do. There. Yep, okay. I have a couple of them. Um, I'm going to do, I've back, uh, Default is Once Upon a Fairy Tale by um, Amy Stewart, Char or, yeah, 
heaven and earth designs it's that big one i'm sure there's letter things for cage in there but i've also started a little luck tonight and there's a cauldron birds or animals um there's the color green or green clover um can you go green clover is that yeah if green clover maybe i don't know but if not i can do um We've always grapes. done that, though. Yeah, grapes are in. Um, I've also got card ooh, cardinal points that is not showing up. But um, there are grapes in cardinal points. And then there's also e, the letter E for East. It's meant to be all in the one project, Vicky. Oh. All has to be on one project. All has to be one. OK, I did not read that very well. Hmm. I will. Then it will be Once Upon a Time, then. <laughs> once Upon a Fairy Tale. Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Yeah. <laughs> If I didn't have, if I couldn't have fitted in my humans, I would have gone for my animal kingdom page because there's an animal starting with all those letters. But oh, for sure, Vicky. Um, I'm going to use my Christmas piece because it has a candy cane. It has an angel. A G. I would say I don't know what those are. Oh, gold coins. Gold balls. Or golf balls. Gold balls or gold ornaments. And then it the D is a is the donkey. No, <laughs> E. E, 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 E is an elf. Elf. Well, you, e you got everything in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alphabet one's coming very handy. Yes, <laughs> they do. I'm about to look at um, Sammy's things and see what she's got. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay. So I have um, cups, which are C, an apple, which is A, um, G, what did I come up with for G? Riddle? No, there's which, riddles on the other one. Which one are you on? The fairy tollians 2. Okay, a uh, G. But I have There's grass. a gate. There's a gate. Isn't there a gate over there where that fence is? Yeah, there's grass. There's grass. There's a grass. There's a glass slipper. I mean, mm -hmm. we got plenty. And then um, I'm an evergreen tree. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. Good job. I yeah. could actually use my stretching portraits now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. There's an alligator, a candle, or sorry, sorry, there's a candle, an alligator, a grave. And an elderly lady, but I don't know if that counts. <laughs> an elder. <laughs> There's an ear. There's an oh, ear. there are ears. Yes, there are ears. Ears work better than elderly. Ears. Yes, ears work rich. Descriptive words are not usually accepted. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Okay, are you ready? Yep. yep. Okay. So the Kingdom Keepers communicate uh, by chat, text, and um, VMK. Stitch 300 stitches on something that has words, and you need to have a cover photo. Hi. Most likely do. Good old village of Hawkeye Hollow. Because it's got words. I will probably do dash away because it is all words. Well, there you go. And I'm going to do Things Unseen by Lizzie Kate because there are lots of words in that one too. Well, I'm going to be boring this week <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and still stitch on my Christmas piece because it has the word Xmas down here. <laughs> That's a word. That is a word. That is a word. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, that oh, was fast. So just on that though, you wouldn't accept just like an alphabet sample for that. Word, no, it has, it has to be a to word. word. Yeah. Mine has a very tiny word. It's a word. Yeah. It's a word. Okay. So this is an interesting one. Um, uh, a clue that was. <laughs> I'm apologizing. That was Gibbs. He's such a good boy. He's going to come over here now. Come here. So 
uh, the big clue that was given this week was, was a tattoo. They saw it on a, a kid's arm. So we're going to stitch 300 stitches on a project that has something that would be a great tattoo. You have to explain why I would, you know, put a cover photo and it's 300 stitches. Okay. Well, I don't think I have anything that would be a great. Oh, I'm sure you do. Well, I'm wondering, I'm going to start doing this little one up the top here, which is called gardening, the little house needleworks. And if you really like gardening, I reckon you could do that as a tattoo. Mm -hmm. or, or just a flower. Or just the flowers, flower. yeah. Just the flower, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, because that's my letter G for when G comes up in the alphabet on soup. So um, that would mean I could double dip it. But otherwise, then yes, the flower off my uh, modern folk embroidery or my family and friends. Um, okay. and threads. I am going to get a awesome tattoo <laughs> of a big old dragon. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice back piece. Yes, like center back, right? Right between mm -hmm. the shoulder blades. Totally. Oh, oh me my now. ideal one is oh. actually a cherry blossom branch, but my ideal one is a cherry blossom branch, but I don't have anything cherry blossom started, but I like, you know, little luck. You've got shamrocks and you've got mm -hmm. ladybugs and birds. So any of those, even, I mean, I guess you could even tattoo a leprechaun on you if you really want, but. <laughs> you could. If you're, if you're very Irish, you'd if like to. If you're super in, into that. I'm debating on this one because there's a couple that I would like. Um, I may go just for a simple dragonfly. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Nice. So. Them. Those are pretty. And that's it for Magical Stitches this week. Three prompts. Hey, oh, nice and easy. Mm-hmm. All right. Daily 30. Yes. Usually next. Remember, it's closed groups. Sorry if you're not in it. You're going to be glad about that this week, I reckon. <laughs> Shell's back. She's had her holiday and she's back. Um, it is all about Patrick's Day. So the first thing that she had is that you... So Patrick was born in the Roman Britain in the late 4th century, was kidnapped at the age of 16, taken to Ireland as a slave. And he escaped, but returned to Ireland in about 432 to convert the Irish to Christianity. So you have to do 432 stitches exactly into a whip of your own choice. So, I mean, what your whip's going to be, I would recommend maybe whatever you're going to do for the cage, you could double dip because mm -hmm. that's 400 already and then just do an extra 32 and you that's have that done. That's a smart idea. Yeah. So I don't know if we necessarily need to see what we, we'd work on, but 432 stitches exactly. Mm -hmm. The second one, according to the Irish legend, St. Patrick used the three-leaf plant, which is not to be confused with the four-leaf clover, as a metaphor for the Holy Trinity when he was first introducing Christianity to Ireland. Stitch on a piece that has clover, and it says, aka, grass. And you can do 100, 200, or 300 stitches. So they're low stitch counts this week. That's the blessing this week. So stitch on a piece of clover or grass. So Vicky, you're first. Yep. I am working on my uh, Disney dreams and I'm stitching this one this year and there's grass back there. I think you switched up the, ro the rotation there. No, because it was, it was, oh, well, anyway. I'm going <laughs> to mute y'all just for a second. Sarah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I've got a couple options. I could either do My Little Luck by Lizzie Kate or Things Unseen, because there's grass under that, neath that lovely house right there. So that one's going to get a lot of love this week. I think I would probably 
you're talking about grass, right? Um, do bless is the life because there's a whole bunch of grass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I've a lot of frogging before I get started on my stitching because it was majorly messed up last time I put it down. Oh, <laughs> that's you, the worst. You messed up. Well, I would say I'll be continuing with one I've been working on, which is my little house neighborhood because there's plenty of grass in that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Actually, you could also stitch on your, um, Sarah, your little March thing. Yes. My, in it. Yep, my little luck. Yep. I can't okay. find my picture. It's gone. Oh, it's right here. Yep, there's lots of clover in that one. Just okay, now I get the feeling these next ones are particularly specific. Though we've come to associate Kelly Green with the Irish holiday, the 5th century's official colour was St. Patrick's Blue, a light shade of sky blue. Colour green became associated with Big Day after it was linked to the Irish independence movement in the late 18th century. Choose either light sky blue or Kelly Green and stitch in your choice. So 100, 200 and 300 stitches. But you can also choose to stitch in both colours and get extra tokens. So does that mean that we have to have like the DMC name? Because I looked those up. The DMC name for sky blue would be 519. And the no, well, it's, light, it's light sky blue, so it's actually 3761. Mm -hmm. Do you have to stitch in those colors, or can you just pick one that you think is? Well, Kelly Green's a particular green. Like, it's a really specific type of green. So I feel like you've got to do 702 for that. But I don't know, light sky blue, there'd be a few different things that you could do for that. Mm -hmm. I think I may just chance it and go with the blue and say, here we go, and let's see what happens. That's that's about what I'm going to do, too. And I may, do you have to stitch it on this? Did you, I'm sorry, Lisa, my dog was barking at that time. Did you have to stitch it on the same project, or can I use two different projects? Um, doesn't matter. You can do either. Okay. So, yep, I think I know what I'm doing. I think. Go ahead. Oh, me? Okay. Uh, I think I've got some blues, and I need to start this for my whip go. And my monthly whip go is 500 stitches, so this will be one that I need to start. So that'll get a good start on there for the blues. And then for the greens, um, I may work on that Cinderella piece some more just to get some of the, that because it's got so much green in it. And it does, yeah. Is it close to the Kelly Green look? I think so. And then I'm going to work on my little Annie, my dressed monkey on the throne, because there's the lighter blue up in the, in, the port, in the picture right here. And then there's some pretty greens that are kind of close to that Kelly green. Oh, so. Sarah, I got my monkey too. See? Ooh, I may work on my monkey. There you go. <laughs> I've been looking for an excuse to work on that monkey. I like that monkey. She's so cute. She's, She's adorable. Silly. All right, make a noise. Get back in there. At least your dog's not barking. <laughs> what are you thinking, Sammy? I was trying to figure out if I had 702 in but um, probably I will try and use Dash Away because I could double dip and it's got this light blue in the banner. Mm -hmm. um, which Kelly green is a darker green than the green that's on this one. Or I can use um, my legendary creatures because we've got some sky blue here and some green here. Um, not quite 702, it's 704, but you know. it's pretty close. We can Have, you well. Have you stitched the, the face on your witch yet? Yes. Oh, never mind. Well, I can actually shamelessly self promote this one. But this is March from my Year Down Under series, and that green is actually 702 Kelly Green. So well, there you go. I could actually. I'll, I wonder how that happened. Well, it <laughs> happened. It happened a few weeks ago. Oh. I don't know how that one happened. Normally, if things like that can happen, and I'm very tempted, 
to design something with Kelly Green this week that includes the prompt things that I'm struggling to find. But yeah, I thought, well, that makes it really easy for me to do my green by sticking my little bunny row of March. Um, for my blue, though, I've got the same problem as, as you guys in that I don't want to, um, I don't know if I have the exact pale blue, plot, but this is the lighthouse that I'm starting to and there's quite a few pale blues in the middle of this lighthouse mm -hmm. that are very light pale blues. Mm -hmm. So there's every chance that could be the right colour. Um, and I'm starting with that bit of the lighthouse so I can just do... Oh, you're starting that in color. the centre? Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I'm starting in the centre because I um, thought that might be easiest to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then... Chicago has been celebrating St. Patrick's by dumping green dye into the Chicago River since 1962. Even though they won't reveal their exact formula, we do know the orange powder used is dispersed through flower sifters by the local plumbers union. Stitch on a whip in which you're using something that has been dyed green. So yeah, well, I, I was wondering, though, like it says dyed green, so I imagine you could still just use any type of green. Thread. Mm -hmm. Or do you think it has to be thread? You could do fabric. Yeah. Because do I dyed it. this um, fabric from my teacups. Yeah, beautiful. So I think I might use that. I think a dyed green fabric could be definitely acceptable. Mm -hmm. I think a hand dyed green thread would be acceptable. I'm not sure how you'd go with just doing a random DMC. What do you reckon? I know it's not up to me yet, but Sammy's looking. Yep. If I was to do this one, because that has got dyed green on it as well as the blue, mm -hmm. that's a silks for you. Yeah, and it's dyed, so. Yeah. I'm thinking of doing um, fancy floss. I mean, I've got both things unseen, little luck, and even my um, scary apothecary all have a fancy floss that's been dyed green. So, yeah. and some of them are variegate are the variegated, so you can see the different dye uh, colors of the dye. On my legendary creatures, it uses. Um, 2201 from Wheat Star Works, which is moss green. Mm -hmm. oh. so. I also have Miss Ladybug, who's on a dyed green fabric from Under the Sea Fabrics. Oh. So, anything to avoid those legendary creatures. Yes. <laughs> Just stitch the creatures. <laughs> yeah, Vicky's getting on to you about the creatures, like she gets on to Harriet about dinosaurs. That's what I'm going to do, Mr. Creatures, creatures. Or EJ and her mother moon. Mother moon. Mother moon, mother moon. That's what I usually do. Yep. Whisper. Conscious whispers. All right. From 1999 to 2007, the Irish village of Dripsy proudly touted that it hosted the shortest St. Patrick's Day parade in the world. The route ran for 26 yards between two pubs. Today, Hot Springs, Arkansas, is the title for brevity, I mean 98 Stitch on your shortest, smallest width, and if you finish it, complete on your next one. <laughs> so yes, your shortest, smallest width. Um, my Cinderella ornament's my smallest one. My little luck is one of my smaller ones, and if that, if I finish that one, it will be my moral compass, which is in the other room. Um, one of my smallest or I'm really kind of going more with the shortest here because I'm so focused on getting it done that I'm getting it done in the shortest amount of time uh, is this Sophia by Summer House Stitch Works. I love Does that Does that one. have dyed green fabric threads too? I mean it has DMC. Mm. Oh DMC had to be dyed. Well this is true. That's what I mean. It doesn't say it has to be hand dyed. Yeah. Um, I think I'm very similar to you, Sammy, in that I would do one of my small ones, my, my March that I just showed you. I've almost finished that, so I could probably work on that because it's small. It's only like 94 stitches square. Um, 
and get that finished and then continue working with my maybe my E for ESCII. Right. All right. So that is all the main prompts. Remember 100, 200 or 300 stitches. So then there's the bonus. Mm -hmm. You have to stitch on a St. Patrick's Day design. The holiday must be obvious and there's no alternate stitches. 300 stitches for five tokens. And it must be a St. Patrick's Day design, so Sarah is fine. Oh, Vicky's <laughs> thinking, I have nothing. I think I'm going to have to design no. a St. Patrick's Day design so I can do one. I There's have a freebie. a freebie. Yes. <laughs> I have a freebie. Um, I am using, uh, this is a bad pronoun, uh, the Brooks, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke Brooks did her cakes. A year of cakes. Yes, I should do that one. And, right, okay, this is a bad printout. Sorry, my printer was running out of ink. But the March cake has shamrocks on it. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. And she also I am, has a freebie that's, oh, sorry. She also has a freebie that's actually sham, that's actually a shamrock on her side. Mm. Yeah. And I'm stitching all of them words. on some green fabric. So you could do that. You could actually do that for the other thing as well. Mm -hmm. I could, but this is not a focus piece this year. This is something I had to go dig out. So <laughs> my Cinderella ornament is a focus piece this year. I feel like mine's kind of similar in that I have the year of celebrations that I'm stitching <laughs> individually. And mine, um, so March is St. Patrick's themed, but I have not started it. So I don't see me starting it, but if I wanted to do the bonus, that's where I would go with it. Mm. Oh, I think the bonus is going to mean, well, apart from Vicky and Sarah, but a lot of us might be starting a new freebie mm -hmm. just to do the bonus for those five tokens. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. You got. I might do the cakes because I wanted to do the cakes. So I don't know. We'll see. Do the cakes. And then you've got, of course, the five minutes, five five days of stitching. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I've got a specific pattern I'm using for that. I'm going to use my, this one for this month. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, I love that. I love those. That way I have, it's already on the cue snap. I don't have to, I can just go get it, pick it up, do 30 minutes and put it down. And this is one of my focus pieces for the, or go. one of my pieces that I wanted to get finished this year. I know you don't have to do the same project for your 30 minutes a day, but I really like seeing the progress at the end mm -hmm. of the week when you've actually done the 30 minutes a day. Yeah, I like it, and um, this year I picked 12 projects that I wanted to get done before the end of the year, so this is one of them. So I think I'm just going to start alternating this one. I, I, I think I finished, figured out my mania piece this year also. Awesome. Give me one second. I'm sorry. Okay. Is anyone else focusing on anything for um, the daily 30? Are you picking one piece or are you just picking something? Well, I'm, I'm focusing as I said on this one because I'm behind. So I'm going to do this for my daily 30. I need to work now, on my Quaker for that because I'm not finished March yet. So We can't double dip our daily 30, can we? No. Yep. Well, not with anything in, within the same group. You can double dip with other groups. Well, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, I have one more curveball to throw at you because I know nobody was prepared for, well, Sarah might be prepared for this one. Um, we never got around to doing the Enchanted Stitches monthly. They don't have their new weekly out, but they do have a monthly, so we can go over that one real quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So this month they are doing Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Curse of the Black Pearl. And so everything is centered around those movies. So at the beginning of the film, Elizabeth is singing Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me. Uh, Gibbs approaches her and warns her to because cursed pirates sell the waters of the sea. States that it's bad luck for, to have a woman on board, even a miniature one. For 50 points for your team, Put 2,000 stitches into a project that contains a woman in it and or contains a motif object that would be attributed to being unlucky. So 
Um, Sarah, what would you do? Um, I've got stretching portraits. There's a couple of ladies in that one. And um, yeah, and they're kind of doing unlucky things if you look at them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, a candle next to dynamite is not a very smart thing to do. <laughs> uh and and do you still have 2000 left in that i might actually so i might get it finished because i have the last um full square to finish so gotcha. um i would probably split mine among ladies because you can have it on several different projects and mm -hmm. i have lady of the flag i have mini alice in a dolly dream i have miss ladybug all something I could work out on throughout the month to finally total that thousand, 2,000 stitches. Yeah, and I've got Alice too, um, a couple mm -hmm. of Alice's, because the new Statsuma Street has Alice on it. They just released that second part, and she's the focus piece right there. Yeah, I instantly was thinking of our Alice, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I also was thinking Humans has heaps of girls on it. Oh, and yeah. I want to try and finish that, so I would do that, I think. And that would triple dip. And we all know Vicky has like all the pretty ladies. 50 majillion ladies. Dude, I was trying to figure out which one I would do. Um, my two that I have to start this month for WIPGO are um, Crystal Symphony and Air Goddess. So that's two I would do. But it has to be unlucky? No, it doesn't okay. have to. Be. That's the other option if you don't have ladies something with a lady oh okay then i could work on my water goddess too i could also work on george because there's a lady on a horse um anything with a black cat I, um um oh, cauldron consider. cleaner yeah because black cats are unlucky Ooh, i could do my um hawk run hollow my year of hawk run because all the ladies are wearing them big old dresses mm -hmm. Um, also, anything where you can attribute it to, like, the number 13 is often considered unlucky. Mirrors. Um, things like, well, actually, in some, in some places, just a mirror in general is a sign of bad luck, can steal your soul, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, just to throw out a few extra ideas there, since we all kind of went with the pretty ladies um, <laughs> side of that. Okay. So number two, um, the Curse of the Black Pearl is the first time we meet the pirate comedy duo of Pintel and Rigetti. When Elizabeth is hiding in her closet from the invading pirate, she is peering through a door crack. Pintel's sinister face appears. He smiles and says, "Ello, pop it. Stitch 500 stitches in a project that features a door for 10 points. Little House Neighborhood. Yeah. Cinnamon stars or um, things unseen. Winner in the village. Spangled. Mm -hmm. Spangled has a door on it. Um, okay. So the door is pretty simple. All right. Captain Hector Barbosa's undead pet monkey was also named Jack, but he was named so mockingly after Jack Sparrow. Put 300 stitches into a project that has an animal for six points. Um, all stitches must be on the actual animal to earn the points. Ooh, on the actual animal. Mm -hmm. uh, my Brooks Brooks animals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you hadn't finished them last year. <laughs> I, see. I could move my hoop and work on my eagle. I would go back to my August pattern because I need to do the sheep. Do we consider gargoyles to be animals? No, nope, those are statues. Yeah. They're statuary. And I just, well, I've got like half a bird, 300 stitches. I think I've got 300 more stitches on forever and ever. I could get the the butt of the bird done because that's all there I have. Go. The bird. The bird's an animal. That's okay. Yeah. Do you finish your foxes? Uh, not yet, but I don't know that there's 300 stitches worth of fox left. What about your owls? Oh, you're Sophia. Are you done with your owl part? Yeah, owl was the first thing I stitched. Mm -hmm. Just flowers, you know, or not flowers, yeah. but leaves. 
Did you do your Mill Hill, Al? Did you get him finished? <laughs> no. I don't like that laugh. What's up with that? that I'm, Al? I'm struggling with the whole Mill Hill thing. Like, I just, it, I'm not enjoying it like I do my other stitching, so. Stitch him on a piece of um, fabric. You could stitch him on a piece of fabric and you would enjoy it more. Yeah. You're just not liking the, is it the paper? I think it's just getting used to it. And so. Yeah. Okay. After being kidnapped by the pirates and taken aboard the Black Pearl, Elizabeth learns that the medallion in her possession is one of 882 gold pieces that Barbosa's crew took from the treasure of, I'm not pronouncing that, on an island. <laughs> the gold is cursed and condemns them to become undead corpses until they return them all and atone in blood. Add 882 stitches into a project with either gold metallic thread or a DMC color with gold in the name. Well, that's mean. You don't have to do the 882 stitches with the gold metallic thread. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it says into a project with. Yeah, no. So you don't have to use it. So I would do my. Um, 12 days of Christmas because it has gold thread all around the borders, but I wouldn't do the gold thread. I'd do the other bits. Gotcha. Mine would probably be Lady of the Flag. A lot of her gown is in colors that are described as gold. Mm -hmm. by and I have that one too. I also have Koi Pond Mandala that's in the other room. Um, that's by Shannon Christine Designs. And the, she's actually got a lot of gold in that one. Gold metallic treasure braid. Well, I would double dip, I think, and I think I would do those gold bobble balls thingies. Oh, yeah. there you go. I don't know what gold, color. Gold, gold you know, those ones we didn't know exactly what they were, those gold things yep. for G. Yep. They were gold, so. Yeah, I think I would double dip. And, and that does make sense, because trying to find 882 stitches mm. of gold could be quite a that's, that's nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Johnny Depp's character is Captain Jack Sparrow and is <laughs> insistent that others call him by that title. Stitch 250 stitches on a project that the chart is titled with C, J, or S. You will earn five points for each letter completed for a maximum of 15 points. For example, Sunflower Manor by Hands on Design has S. Yeah. Um, cauldron cleaner by hands on design or cackle lozenges by hands on design for my C's. I um, do, um, sorry, go ahead. Spooky, spooky hollow, hollow by tiny. Mm -hmm. Or a C, C, J, or S. Crystal symphony, uh, symphony. I think the J would be the hardest one for me. So S is obviously Sophia. Um, it has see. to start with J, right? Yeah. Oh, I've got a J. You're um, only doing one, aren't you? You don't need to. Do I am, but if I had to pick one, I have a Mill Hill kit called Dingle. Mm. Oh yeah. I was thinking you guys could do your shawls of pork and horn. Because. I have a J my to Halloween dream from my Halloween, my alphabet soup, all the letters there. Oh, there you go. Um, Jack's Halloween dream from Pop Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I saw Garrett finish his and post it in Leslie's group. And I was like, mm. ooh, I need to finish that. So I could stitch on that a little bit. Let's start with a J. Jack's Halloween dream. Jack's. Okay, I missed that. Yep. Um, it's Jack. Right? <laughs> Um, jingles from Lizzie Kate would be another one. I have those in my stash, but I have not actually kitted them up yet. Um, I don't actually have a J or a C project right now. You be going with the S soon. Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking at all the letters because you could do each of them and get five mm -hmm. points for each Oh, letter. cool. So, but it does have to be the title, not the designer or any of that. And it does have to be the first um, mm -hmm. letter, beginning letter. So 
Um, when production wrapped, many of the individuals who worked on the Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl picked props out of the treasure cave to take home. According to the director, Gregory Verbinski, not a single one of the cursed Aztec coins was left behind. For four points, please explain what prop or loot you would have taken from the set and why. Well, that's just an explanation, not no stitching yeah. involved. No stitching. I, I don't know the video, so I can't comment. A bottle um, of rum. Seriously? You need to take Jack's bottle of rum. Yes. Because where's the rum? Because the rum's the, gone. It's always gone. Where's the rum? Where's, why is the rum gone? I take his hat. His, either his hat or um does it have to be of, a prop can i have the monkey yeah. <laughs> i'm sure the monkey was a prop i mean at, at some point in time right yeah. or the sword that um orlando that will turn i would made. take kira knightley's fancy dress oh yes when she can't are... breathe and when she <laughs> can't breathe i can't breathe can't breathe, can't breathe. Yeah. All right. And that's the end of the monthlies for um, Enchanted Stitches. I think that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. so, um, Shh. Not y'all. My dog's growling. <laughs> that is it for us for this week. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us and doing this. And we will see y'all next week. Bye. Bye.